Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. Today, we're looking at another Zelos. And this one is a loan from a friend. It is the Sky Raider V2 Blue Meteorite. What I want to do today is I kind of want to talk about the differences between the V1 and the V2, particularly now that I've been able to really hold them up close and experience them from every angle. And then check back, publishing soon will be the comparison with all the other ones. For those who don't know, the Sky Raider is my all time favorite Zelos model of watch. So I own two currently of the V1. And I owned a third one that was the bronze skeleton. And I did sell it to another Zelos friend. But I kept the two titanium ones. And one of them is out on loan with a buddy right now. So I don't have it here to show you, but I'll roll in a picture. So on the, the left here, I've got the atmospheric blue or whatever they call it with this helical pattern i think it's called this thing is amazing in the titanium case the other one is the titanium with the meteorite dial but here's a couple of things that i'm going to say one i've already mentioned it the sky raider is my favorite zealous it really is it has been since day one um i did not get to buy these new when they were first released and so i was on the hunt and if you know if you've been on a sky raider hunt man these things are hard to find now it's taken some time but elshin has eventually heard the cries from many of us zelos addicts and he created a version two now there's a couple of ways that i'm torn about this watch though if actions speak louder than words they can say i didn't order a v2 and again the one on the right here is a friend of mine but i can talk about that I think that the version one designs were better designs. And that's just my personal opinion. And that's gonna be different for everybody. Now, if I had bought a V2, I was eyeing this blue meteorite one. Now, the more that I see pictures and video of the white Sky Raider, the more interested I am in it. And I think it might actually be my favorite in that lineup this blue meteorite being a tie or a very very close second but when we look at these even though they're both blue watches and this isn't just the lights playing in different ways or whatever if you didn't know any better you would say hey did they make a black a really dark blue one nope the blue meteorite really does look black in a whole lot of circumstances and a bunch of different lighting conditions. Now, the one thing that I love about the V2 is the new case shape and design. So let me see if I can hold these up. They're both still using the ETA 6498 movements. And all of the specs of these are pretty much the same as far as overall size being 42, 48 millimeter lug to lug. But what he did, 22 mil lug, by the way, so 22 mil straps. But what Elshin did was he tapered the lugs and the case. And so the V2 is quite a bit thinner on wrist than the V1. You can see that kind of this big slab side that we have right here is it has a much thinner profile on the V2. Additionally, the lugs are slightly different. And you can notice this kind of when you look at the front of them here. So you can see how the lugs, it has this upper pattern right here, if I can get in on that. And then it slopes down. And on the V1, you'll notice that that step is much smaller and more gradual before it starts to taper down. And so I really love the V2K shape, the improvements that he made on that, that was big. Now the last one, if I can get these side by side, you'll notice that the crowns are slightly different. So they both have a similar kind of shape 
and knurling to them that make them very easy to use. I mean, keep in mind, these are hand wound movements. So you're going to have to wind them 40 hour powers or 42. Some people may get more closer to 50, but you will have to wind these. And thankfully, these big crowns with the cutouts the way that they are make it, I almost say almost a joy to wind. And so that's cool. The one thing I didn't care so much about in the V1 is that the crown protrudes enough to where it kind of will poke you in the back of the hand if you're right-handed and wear them on your left wrist like many of us do. If you wear it on your other wrist, of course, you're not going to have that problem. But it's really nice to see that the crown on this V2 is a little bit shorter so that it doesn't protrude and stick into your hand quite as much. And that's really nice. So, if I had to give my overall summary of what I would love to see, I'd love to see these V1 dials in the V2 case with the V2 crown, because that's pretty cool. Now, the other thing that we have to talk about, I won't say it's an elephant in the room, but it's a pretty big deal. The bracelet. This is a full titanium bracelet with on-the-fly micro-adjust and these were not available on the V1. And they're really nice. The finishing on it is nice. You can see this one's got some scuffs on it, but you can see that the overall detailing of it, it kind of gives you that airplane or propeller grade, like the fans of a of the inner part of the jet propulsion system. That's what it reminds me of anyway, like the inner fans. But you have that going on and the overall comfort on wrist on the bracelet, this thing, it's, it's not anywhere near as heavy as it looks like it would be because it is full titanium construction. As much as I liked this bracelet, I personally, and this could have been just personal preferences, I wish that it had more taper to it. And I wish that it had the smaller clasp on it like that I have on some of like my Mako V3. So look at this. You see how smaller that clasp is? I wish this Sky Raider would have tapered down to this right here. I think that would have been really cool. And of course, just like you'll see the reason I have this one still taped up, when you rub your fingers across this, it is quite sharp. I think the feedback of these being sharp made its way back to Elshin. And so maybe it was on the, on the black tip one, it's not as sharp. Today I'm wearing the red, the crimson red Zelos black tip. I got this kind of white paisley and red strap that I'm enjoying it on. I should be doing a video of this sometime soon. I have a forged carbon one of these coming in, and so I'll be able to put it next to that. So, so again, everything is kind of an iterative improvement, it seems, for Zelos and their bracelets, um, which they've been on a good journey because the bracelets, I used to not be a fan of. In fact, as soon as I get a Zelos, I take the bracelet off, and like many micro brands, you know, they had that giant clunky clasp on them. There was no taper. The finishing was just kind of meh. But now, vast strides, like vast improvements in the bracelet quality overall. And now I'm just kind of being nitpicky with wanting to see a little bit more taper and getting rid of the sharp edge, which, like I said, he's done in the newer, the newer models. What's cool about this is, aside from the normal watch roll that you get, he also shipped them in this Zelos stamped watch pouch because... You can see here, this thing won't fold down. And so, and, and you know that I hate to do it. This one's wrapped up, so I don't mind doing it with this one. But these other bracelets, you can actually fold them kind of flat and still get them in the watch roll. Uh, the Sky Raider V2 and this titanium bracelet does not have that option. So what he did was he put these inside of that and shipped that out all together in the box. But it is cool to get a watch pouch. So that's where I'm at. What does everybody else think? I've seen mixed opinions. I've seen some people who love the designs of the V2. I've seen some people that are kind of like me that we maybe appreciate or enjoy the V1 designs a little bit better. But again, that's gonna be different for every person just depending on what aesthetic you're more drawn to. I will say the improvements to this case are fantastic. I'm almost tempted to see if I could buy a V2 and insert this dial into it. But I don't know if they're swappable like that because I don't know how much he had to take off. I don't know if the chapter ring is different, but I'm curious. So 
yeah, check back with me in the next video. I want to just compare a bunch of other Zelos watches to this watch so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I talk about how this dial gives you a different experience in person than maybe it does in some of the pictures and how, in my opinion, it really maybe should have been advertised as being like a blue enamel type dial because to me that's what it looks like well with that my friends until we talk again please remember what really matters and that that's not watches keep the insanity safe.